Cause it's just loose lips I try better than I seem So go ahead and enjoy Because we're, we're quite lucky in the way we've got a really good network across the city with corporates, locals, like influencers and the press. So we can tap into the different networks to get your brand out there so we're quite looking that way emails are quite really like because we've got a big database social is really important um but then also relationships because you yeah, people buy off people i guess yeah so it's quite so word of my fears so like so sort of things so we've got these influencers we've got a hundred thousand followers it helps you get the social out there and so on but then we've got the guy that works in a law firm that's got 200 followers but he speaks to everyone in that office but then everyone in that office we'll go somewhere. So you've got the local influences and we're lucky to have that. And the word of mouth is probably more valuable sometimes, not all the time, than the big influence with thousands of followers, if that makes sense, because you don't know where they are. So, because you trust your mates, don't you? Yeah. You always got that foodie on Facebook. They're like, oh, he's got this restaurant. That looks tasty. Let's try that out. Cause you know yeah. it's good. So word of mouth is the way forward, I guess. That's mad, like, because... The influencers, that, that again is something that if we would have been speaking five years ago and would have been using the term influencers, you'd have been like, what? Like under the influencers, potentially. Do you know what I mean? Would have been saying the influencers. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. That's just me. I'm on record. It's my show. I can say it. I'm on record. I'm on record. But, right, do you know what I'm saying, though, right? It's like, it's such a crazy thing to have to get into. So, again, what, what do you look like with a, what do you look for with an influencer? Because, a lot of the time, it might have just been buying views, and a lot of time, it is true traction. So, have you ever been burnt with like that influence side of it? Um, it's got to be relevant. Like the influence has got to be relevant to what you're working with. Like, is it going to be a restaurant, or is it a girl that's got hundred thousand followers, or whatever? I'm keep saying hundred thousand. It's easy number to remember, isn't it? Um, is she selling clothes? Is she going to be right for that brand? You've got to be careful with that. But I, d I just guess it depends on what project or project you're working on, really. Does that answer your question? Yeah, it, it's, but no, it, it, it does. But a step further than that is like when you're getting into these negotiations with these influencers, yeah. do, it, are, are, the, are the ones that you've worked with tend to have like, a, you know, um, if they've got 100,000 followers, let's stick with that number because it's actually on that mental vision board of what I want to reach. <laughs> So we'll keep pulling that in the universe, well played. But like, is it, um, you know, could you say oh, we've got 100,000 and after a while you're like, actually, I think they've got like five. I think they've just like cut the numbers. You can check. Can you? Oh, website, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is what, how can you check? Tell us more, come on, tell us more. So you can put them into these websites and basically this, you say you've got real followers or fake followers. Um, and then also the interaction and what you're getting off people. We were quite lucky in the way that, because we do so much and work so many different businesses and brands, they're like, they're, they're like friends now. So yeah. look at the events, we have a nice time, we have a good relationship, it's, it's great. They're actually mates, but you can, you can, yeah, back to that, you can definitely check if they're wrong or in China or... <laughs> in China, yeah. How, how, um... <laughs> How how do you um how do you approach him like again like just slide into his DMs, man. <laughs> you can't slide in an influencer's DMs. I expect you can't slide into any only fans DMs. I play that. <laughs> I just believe all they can say is no. If they're not if they're not feeling it, they're not fit. They're going to ignore you or just say no. Um, and then also a lot of them approach us because we do so much, so they ask to be with us and stuff like that. But if some of them have got like. We call them blaggers, not bloggers. You just want a free meal. I'm not interested. Um, so we just don't even play with that. So I guess it's, it's the same way. If I'm like just targeting someone or asking someone to do something and they're not interested, they're just going to we'll just say no, won't they? <laughs> I love that line. What? Uh, we're looking for bloggers, not bloggers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% there's loads of them on the food. What? Because you cooked one dinner, no, you're not. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just loosely.